looking on the head, as you can tell the head's a little bit smaller for this, this hair. So what I need to do is I want my face positioned here like this. I've already taken the ear off here so it'll fit more flush to this side. So what I need to do <clears throat> is I need to take some of the epoxy and fill in in here to give me a, a slot to where when I set it in it will hold. Something to glue to. So I'm gonna mix up some epoxy sculpt and work on this. You can see here, now that this is dry, I've got my full notch here so that when I put the head in, it sits in there perfectly and it has the exact position that I want. And I'm still able to get the back half on there. Now what I need to do so I need to go in and inside here I need to put some up to the forehead to make it look more like real hair and then I'm going to do some more in the back half of the hair so that I can also lock in this bottom part right here. So that once everything's all done everything will just lock in and sit where it's supposed to so then when it's painted, it all I have to do is just glue it and it'll be good to go. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll let it dry. Then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Alright, the epoxy putty is dry. So now I can... fit everything together. I've already done some sanding and scraping and stuff to uh, get the fit to work. But now it fits the way I want. And what I need to do is I need to do a little bit more down here on the side of the forehead. Do um, some hair strand so that it goes up and looks like a natural hair strand and then after that I'll be ready to prime so I'm going to do that let it dry and then I'll prime and I'll come back and show you what the head looks like got a coat of primer on her and started doing a little sanding here and there still needs some work but uh, I'm gonna work some more on that but right now move on to uh, the arms and the hands and the guns I have primer on the arms, the hands, the holster, and the guns. Um, I did take off the armbands, but you can still see there's a little dent here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mr. Hobby, Mr. Surfacer, and apply it with a toothpick and let it dry. And then I'll come back and, and wet sand it all smooth, and then I'll prime it again. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Here you can see I just dabbed on the Mr. Surfacer with a toothpick. Just dabbing it on, slowly building it up. So now I'll let this dry and then wet sand it and prime it. Got the arms sanded down and then got them glued to the main body. So now what I need to do is whip up some more Aves epoxy and fill in these seams here around where the arms are and start smoothing all that out to make it look like it's all part of a one piece suit. After I glued the arms on I wanted to do a quick test fit see how it's coming together and it's coming together exactly how I envisioned it. It's looking exactly the way I wanted. It's looking really good. I'm gonna work some more on this 
that'll do it for part three. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and I'll see you for part four.